subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome back to World 360. Though votes are still being counted, one Central American country is on course to elect its first female president. Here are some more clues about the country. It is home to ancient Mayan ruins. In the early 20th century, it was also known as a banana republic, meaning a poor country with a weak government that depends on money from a single export, specifically bananas. That's right, I'm talking about Honduras. wedged between Nicaragua, El Salvador and Guatemala. The woman who has been hitting headlines is none other than 62-year-old Xiomara Castro de Zelaya, who has held a commanding lead in the polls over the ruling National Party's Nasri Asfura. Jubilant celebrations filled the streets after Xiomara declared victory on Tuesday. Now here's what's interesting about Xiomara. Her husband, Manuel Zelaya, formerly served as president of Honduras and was ousted in a coup in 2009 by business and military elites. It was the first military coup in Central America since the end of the Cold War. Soldiers stormed the presidential palace in the capital in June 2009 in response to Manuel's efforts to lift presidential term limits. While there was worldwide condemnation of the coup, critics also pointed out that Zelaya had attempted to defy the constitution's limit of a single four-year term for the president through a referendum, and that was illegal in their eyes. In the wake of the coup, it was Xiomara who led a sustained protest movement against the coup. As Edmundo Orellana, who previously served in Manuel's cabinet, put it, she did it bravely with talent. She never let her speeches be guided by feelings or emotions. She was always very rational. From then on, Honduras identified her as a political figure with her own personality, very different from Mel's political personality. A year later, Porfirio Lobo Sosa of the National Party won the country's national elections. Manuel left for exile in the Dominican Republic soon after that. After a series of agreements, charges of corruption against Manuel were dropped. and he was allowed to return to Honduras in 2011. Manuel has led a rather low-key life since then, apart from being stopped at an airport with a bag full of money last year. He continues to support his wife on social media and recently tweeted, "We won." Xiomara becoming president elect would mean that the left-leaning opposition led by her party known as the Liberty and Refoundation would come into power for the first time in 12 years. Apart from COVID, Honduras is a nation recovering from two major hurricanes and is plagued by gang violence, corruption, and high poverty. The current government, led by President Juan Orlando Hernandez, has been marred by allegations of fraud. As the LA Times put it, Castro rode a wave of discontentment with the National Party's 12-year reign. Xiomara previously ran for president in 2013 as a candidate for the center-left Liber Party, which emerged from the protest movement. She lost to Juan Orlando Hernandez of the ruling National Party, but led a large protest after the election claiming that it was fraudulent. Hernandez meanwhile said his victory was legitimate. Now, the tables appear to have turned. Presidents of neighboring countries like Venezuela's Nicolás Maduro and Cuba's Miguel Díaz-Canel Bermúdez have already congratulated Xiomara on her win, though votes are still being counted. The US has not commented on the election as yet, though with the leftist party in power, the US under the current Biden administration may have to acknowledge its own role in the 2009 coup. As described by media reports, the US refused to call the ouster of Manuel Zelaya in 2009 a military coup and proceeded to work closely with National Party presidents who followed. Xiomara recently said, "I believe the Biden administration has an enormous opportunity to address the issue of migration. First, recognizing that they have part of the responsibility for what happens in our country." Thanks for watching. This is Pia Krishnakutty for the print. We'll be back soon with a brand new episode.